Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create 10 cards with the um, Spellbinders card kit of the month for November uh, 2020. This month's kit is called Merry Wishes. If you missed the unboxing, I'll link it at the end of the video. And also at the unboxing is where I created my little lamp post. It's made with the dies that came in this month's kit. So I'll link it below if you want to know how I created it. But um, Usually I create um, with the dies during my unboxing and then I create my first card with that die that I created. You can see here I trimmed down a one inch strip off the very front of my card base. Um, sometimes I like to do this just to create a different kind of a card base. Um, for the inside, I'm gonna use my double sided tape and then we're gonna adhere a one and a quarter inch strip of green cardstock on the very inside of um, our card base. It's going to be all the way to the right. This way, when you close your card base, you see that green. I'll just remove the release paper and line that up right up to the edge. And then um, normally, um, I think the double-sided tape that comes with the Spellbinders kits is um, good stuff. But um, the only reason that, for the most part, I don't like to use it during my videos is because it takes a little bit of time to um, adhere it down and then remove the release paper. and um, minutes counts during my 10 card video so i want to switch off to my tape runner in just a little bit but it's good stuff guys okay i have a um half inch strip of the red card stock i went ahead and adhered that on the very edge of the opening of my my card front and then i'm adhering a piece of pattern paper it's the one in the six by six paper pad that has the christmas trees on it i had cut down a two and a half inch strip by five and a half inch strip and have placed it right over that red card stock. Now we're going to create a little snow bank. I'm just going to use my scissors and create a squiggly line with it. I wanted a smaller one and a taller one. So um, I'm just going to trim off a little bit here. I wanted different arches. And I went ahead and adhered the first longer snow bank to the very bottom of my panel. Um, and I made sure it was the two and a half inch wide. So it's just covering my pattern paper. And then for the smaller snowbank that we created, I added foam adhesive behind it, just for a little dimension. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our really pretty um, light, old-fashioned light here. Um, and I added it so that the lamp post was going right over the edge of the pattern paper and the white cardstock to the left. After we have that adhered, I die cut out some gold flowers with the star die that came with this month's kit and then um, added a few of those stars. And then also, um, during my unboxing, I die cut out the word Noel, which is such a pretty font. I put that in the larger snow bank also. Um, last but not least for finishing touches, I'm gonna, the sequins were so pretty this month. There's two different sizes, the standard size and then a smaller size that has a pretty heavy cup on it. I'm adding the smaller ones to the center of those little, the center of those little red flowers on my wreath and it really makes it sparkle. Just added details like that, just, I just love that. But that is card number one with my little fancy little opening. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and move along to card number two. I have everything cut out. I have a strip of the poinsettia flat, uh, pattern paper. The size of that strip is um, one inch by, by four inches, no. Don't quote me, one inch by three and a half inches. And then I went ahead and adhered a thin strip of gold. It's gonna to be to the top of that uh, poinsettia pattern paper. It's such pretty paper. Um, I did wanna add a little dimension with the strip, so I'm gonna add some foam adhesive. If you wanted to use the foam that came in the kit, you could, um, but I find it's just a little bit easier and faster using foam tape. <laughs> I have some striped pattern paper that measures three and a half inches by four inches and we are going to go ahead and adhere this um, for on the very bottom of our card base um, leaving a little bit of white to the left and to the right we're going to add our pattern paper to the bottom of that and then i have two pieces of the die cuts um, that were in the die cut pack this month so pretty i have the large poinsettia kind of a flourish we're going to add that a little bit to the left and then i have the sentiment of this a, um, a pink banner I added that um, kind of overlapping on my flowers it says Merry Christmas 
Um, for finishing touches, I, like I said, really like the small um, sequins this month because they sparkle. So in the when the light hits it, it's just extra sparkly. So in the center of each one of the flower um, flowers, I'm going to add a little cluster, like a five, um, a five sequin cluster in the middle. I think that's about how many fit maybe four in the very bottom one on that pattern paper but at least five in in the two flowers that are above to flatten them since they're on the smaller size and they have a heavier cup I'm just moving you using the release paper for my double-sided tape to kind of flatten them a bit this way when they dry they dry all um, positioned flat instead of kind of wonky but I did add a few above and below my flowers on top and then that finishes that card Okay, we're moving on to card number three. I went through the journaling cards and I found one that had the stars on it. It was so pretty. And on the reverse side, it has a sentiment with black. I thought this would make a perfect little pocket. So I'm going to fold it. I'm actually going to fold it, um, I would say at the one and three quarter inch um, mark. This is where I folded it. And then I'm going to reinforce it with my bone folder. And I want to do trim it down so it's a little bit smaller, less um, less long. So I'm taking a quarter inch off the left and to the right, just using my paper trimmer. We'll flip it around and take a quarter inch off of this side. Lovely. Now that took away the curved edges um, on the star part and then on the black. I thought about making it a little bit smaller, but we're just going to end up taking a quarter inch off the left and the right. I did like the corner rounded on the very top so we're going to bring in a corner rounder in just a minute to tape this close i am going to use the double sided tape it was like the perfect size i'm adding it to the left and right of my journaling card and then we'll just remove the release paper and then we can close it and it creates the perfect little pocket in this month's kit and the die cut pack there's um, quite a few tags and so i wanted to use one of those for um, this little pocket Let's grab our corner rounder and round those corners. The one that I'm using is from Fun Stamper's Journey and um, works really well. We'll do both the left and the right. There's a little pocket. Okay, next we're gonna build our card by adding our, our red pattern paper here. This pattern paper measures um, three and a half inches by four and three quarters. So it's gonna leave me um, some white edges on my card front and then I have a three-quarter inch strip of this pattern paper it's a really fun print that has um, some of the Christmas words um, in different colors um, along with the black and with the white background I fishtailed the end we're going to add adhesive behind it and then we are going to add this to the left of our pattern paper and we're going to go all the way up to the top of the card base with it and all the way, almost all the way to the bottom of the red pattern paper. What's overhanging, it's about a half an inch, we'll just trim off with our scissors. For our little pocket, we're going to add foam adhesive behind it, and we're going to place it kind of wonky towards the bottom. We're going to fill it, so we need some extra space on the very top. Once that's adhered, we're going to, I have the star tag that matches the pattern on the journaling tag perfectly, but I thought we'd embellish it a little more with an eyelet. So I grabbed the black eyelet and the black washer from my stash and just using my crocodile, we're going to secure that to the tag. Just punch it closed and then I'm going to bring in some black licorice twine and we're going to thread um, some twine through here and we'll tie a bow with it. I thought the black would just going to bring out the black in our ticket there. Um, I also picked up um, the advent calendar that was in the die cut pack. Um, I thought the colors in there were so pretty and it would fit in that little pocket too. So we're going to put the tag and the pocket inside our little, or the tag and the advent calendar in our pocket here. <laughs> I think it looks so cute. I'm going to tie a bow with our black twine. Sometimes it's easier when it's adhered or, or when it's secured to make the bow. The tails were a little bit long, so we're just going to trim those with the scissors. And then I wanted to bring in a little bit more black, so I grabbed the Ho 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 from our die cut pack. I am going to add foam adhesive behind there and add that to the front of my pocket. 
and then there's also some stars in the die cut pack and I added three on top and then two on the bottom. We're going to bring in the puffy stickers. Um, there's some black stars in there. I'm going to embellish this card with a few of the black stars um, just so everything kind of is cohesive, <laughs> at least in my eyes. And then that finishes off card number three. Kind of a fun card. I think that'd be cute if you could stick a dollar bill in that little pocket too. Well, probably more than a dollar bill these days, but I think it'd be a cute little Christmas card. But that's card number three. You can put a little message behind your tag too. Okay, we're going to move along to card number four. It's a pretty easy card. I'm going to just retuck those in there. <laughs> okay, I have four squares here. And we are going to take the square with the pattern paper. It measures two and a half inches by two and a half inches. We're going to mat that on some white cardstock that measures two and three quarter inches squared. We're going to take that piece and mat that on some pink cardstock that is a three by three inch square. And then we are going to center this on the top portion of our card base. I did want a little dimension, so we're going to add foam adhesive behind the square. So um, it's popped up a little bit more. Just making sure my my words are right side up. There's been a few times where I've put it on um, upside down. <laughs> okay, now we have both of the poinsettia flowers from our die cut pack. This month you get two of each, which is really nice. And I thought we would trim away some of the leaves or the petals from our poinsettia flower and then take the same piece, pop it up with foam adhesive and place it in the center of our um, poinsettia flower. It's going to create dimension. We're going to curl up those leaves a little bit, but it's going to create dimension. And originally I was just going to throw away the leftover flowers, but I thought, you know, we could even make this flower a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take those extra pieces, add adhesive behind there, and we're going to tuck those under the flowers as well. So we're, we're getting, with two flowers, we're making it a little bit bigger and with lots of dimension and I just love the way this turned out. Just fluffing up those leaves and reinforcing those um, cuddles we pet away, um, cuddles, <laughs> I can dog, the petals we cut away but we'll just tuck those under there. I did go ahead and add my leaves, those also came in the die cut pack and I think that looks so pretty. Now for my sentiment we're going to bring in the puffy stickers. There's a sentiment in there that is a white banner that says joy and cheer. We're going to add that kind of overlapping on the petals of the, the lower petals of the flower. And then we're going to add um, some finishing touches with our sequins. Um, I found that six sequins in the center of that, six smaller sequins in the center of our poinsettia flower look super pretty. And then I'm going to use three of the larger sequins to embellish it around the flower. But I love the sparkle on those gold sequins. So that's card four. Now for card five, it's pretty easy. I'm taking two of the journaling cards that are the same. It's the ones that have the, the presents on them. I'm going to add one to the very top of my card base. All the card bases, too, guys, that I'm using are from the kit. They're all ten of them. Um, I'm taking the same journaling card, flipping it upside down, and then adding it directly to my card base, just lining them up to create a background of presents. Um, since the journaling cards were rounded, I thought we'll round off the corners on this. So we're just going to do a little punching on all four corners. And I'm loving the way this looks. Now, I have some pink cardstock. The pink cardstock is about a three-quarter inch strip. Originally, I was going to mat it on my gold, but I thought we'd need to bring in a little bit more white. So I trimmed down some white and then added my pink cardstock, and then we added the pink cardstock to the gold cardstock. So just a little bit of that gold cardstock is peeking out. We're going to place this over the center of our card, covering up the seam of our two um, journaling cards. And I think that looks great. I did pop that up with foam adhesive for a little added dimension. Okay, actually, I take that back. I did not because the layers were really thick. I didn't add any foam adhesive behind that pink strip. I am going to bring in two presents from the die cut pack and then also the chipboard sticker that says, Have a Merry, Jolly, Happy Christmas. Love the colors in this. I actually put one present to the bottom left of that chipboard sticker and then one 
present, the red one, to the top right, kind of placing them a little bit wonky. And then I added foam adhesive behind it, placed it over the seam, and I did tuck that. I had, there's a chipboard, a green chipboard present that I tucked in there too, just for a little bit of added interest. And then um, there's lots of gold in there, and I'm going to leave that card just like that. I love the way it turned out with all those presents. <laughs> okay, next up we are going to create and a, kind of a stamp collage card. I'm taking some of the wood grain pattern paper and I'm cutting two one inch strips and I'm making sure the wood, I guess it doesn't matter which way the wood grain goes, but I wanted it to be um, vertical. I'm going to take these strips, add some adhesive behind it, and then place this to the left and to the right of my card base. You can see here I grabbed some die cut pieces. I grabbed a couple of stamps. The one that has the 25 cent on there, I have two of those. The one with the house on there and the star, I have two of those. And then I have the green and white striped, I have two of those. Um, and then I did grab the little joy cookie and then um, the other stamp with the green present. And I'm just placing uh, four in a row, one on the left and one on the right. And each one of these elements um, have gold in there. It's really pretty. So I brought in some gold for the left and right of my panel. And I didn't tell you the measurement of my panel, but it measures uh, my white panel. It measures four, uh, three and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, card number seven. I have a panel created with white cardstock, and we're going to cut out a square that's going to leave me a little bit of a border around my card base. I'm going to round the corners, and then I'm going to be using a polka dotted embossing folder from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, the, the back of my card is going to be mostly white, so when this happens, I like texture in the background. So any kind of embossing folder you have would work. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base, and then I do have a journaling card um, that I trimmed, tis the season to be jolly. Um, I trimmed all of the sections, so I have four different um, little sentiment strips here. So we're gonna flip these over, I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind them, and then I'm gonna place them kind of wonky on my card base here. I'm leaving a little bit of room to the right because I wanted to use a, uh, the chipboard stocking that we have in this month's kit. We'll add our jolly here, scoot it over a bit, and then we'll take our stocking. There's a little bit of gold in the stocking too that makes it nice, and it really picks up the green in the lettering of our, our Tis the Season to be Jolly. We'll add our stocking just under the end there, and I thought something was missing, so I'm going to tie a bow with our um, black licorice twine. And a smaller one and then I'm going to use a glue dot and we're going to secure the bow just above the stocking. I kind of tucked that stocking in underneath the, the season sentiment so we're going to put the bow in that area there. I'm not going to, oh I am going to add, there's a couple chipboard stars. There's a pink one in there but my pink one was kind of um, misshaped so I didn't add that but I would, if it wasn't misshaped I would have added the pink one too. But that finishes off card number seven. Now for card number eight, we're gonna create a candy cane card. This turned out so pretty, oh my goodness. Well, I, I, loved, I love candy canes for Christmas, so I thought it turned out really nice. I have a piece of pattern paper with the candy canes that measures three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then we're gonna adhere a thin strip of the gold card stock to the left of that. We're gonna add that panel to our card base have a little bit of excess overhanging, so we're going to trim that off. Then you can see here I have a circle. The white circle measures two and three quarter inches, and then I have some vellum that's slightly larger. The vellum piece measures three and a quarter inches. I'm going to lightly tack my vellum to that white, and um, I'm going to treat that vellum with my anti-static powder bag because we're going to do some heat embossing with one of the sentiments in our stamp set this month. The stamp set had some beautiful sentiments, and um, I thought Tis the Season to be Jolly would be perfect for this card. So we're gonna grab that, and then I'm gonna stamp with my Versafine Onyx Black ink. It's ink that stays sticky, so we can do some heat embossing. Um, if you were to stamp with the Versamark, or the Versafine ink on your vellum, um, it would probably smear and take a really long time to dry. So we're just gonna stamp it, you can see how pretty that font is. I'm gonna go over it with my clear embossing powder, 
and then I'm going to melt it and it is good to go. I'm going to keep it behind that, the white behind there. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind our circle and then offset it a bit and then trim off the excess. And then I have some die cut pieces, both the candy canes we're going to add and then there's some pine needles. I'm going to add all three of these. Um, kind of in the middle of the candy canes just so we have a little greenery. Um, normally if you wanted to put some some red nouveau drops or red gems as holly berries you could but I'm loving these gold sequins so I'm gonna add large ones first and then after I have the large ones added I'm gonna add a dot of glue on top of each one of those and then we're gonna add the smaller ones um, I just think this looks so sparkly and so pretty. Kind of looks like little teacups <laughs> because the smaller ones are, are kept really nice. I guess that adds a lot of facets to it. It makes it extra sparkly. But that is that card. Pretty easy card, but I love the way that turned out. <laughs> now we're going to move along to card number nine. Card number nine, I have a two inch strip of this pattern paper. We're going, and then I also have a half inch strip of the gold cardstock. Before we add this pattern, we're going to add the gold piece first on the very bottom. We'll add some glue here. And then this is overhanging. We'll just trim off the excess. And then we'll add our pattern paper right over the top, kind of leaving maybe a, an eighth of an inch showing with of that gold. Instead of trimming this one off, I'm going to fishtail the end and then wrap it around the side. Sometimes I like to do that just so you have a little color when you open up your card. We'll tack that down. Lovely. Okay, we're going to bring in some more chipboard stickers. There's a cute little picture frame with um, that has gold detail on it and then there's a little house on the inside. We're going to use both of those. So I'm going to take the picture frame, but I wanted my house to be a little bit like a wintry scene. So I took the the snowbank die that we had and I die cut that out with white cardstock and I just tacked it to the bottom of my frame. Since the, the reverse side of this is tacky, that snowbank stuck really good to it. Um, I'm gonna grab my house, kind of figure out my measurement. Um, I decided to pop up this frame with foam adhesive and then um, this way we can have a little added dimension with that house there. We'll add our frame first, tuck our house just below the snowbank there, and I think that looks so cute. <laughs> For my sentiment, I'm using the Christmas Joy sentiment that came in the die cut pack. And then I am also going to bring in another chipboard that says, oh, what fun, and I'm going to tuck that underneath the Christmas. I think that would be perfect. <laughs> it's the same, almost the same color as our frame, so it's kind of dry, drawing your eye at a diagonal. For embellishing, we're going to use some more of the sequins, and then I did add some of my journey glaze to the window on my pink house there, and then also to the little heart. And again, I used the release paper off of my foam adhesive to flatten those sequins. And that finishes that card. For my final card today, it's going to be a pretty easy one, but it's it, I love the colors in this. Um, I have a stripe piece of the pattern paper that has gold detail on it. It's a one and three quarter inch stripe. I just fishtailed the end and basically we're almost centering it on our card base. After that's adhered, I'm gonna fishtail the end of our red pattern paper and that is a one and a quarter inch strip. I'm gonna pop this one up with foam adhesive and then place that kind of overlapping the gold pattern paper here. Now I die cut out three circles that um, with some circle dies that were a little bit larger than my circle die cuts. I just taped them down on top of each other. I have Oh What Fun is the blue, making it Mary's the pink, and then I have Holly Jolly's the red. I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind this, and, and then this one's gonna go overlapping on the red. It's the making it Mary. And then we'll add the Oh What Fun, kind of in the center of both of them. And then the Holly Jolly, I think we're gonna scoot down a little bit more. For finishing touches for this card, we're going to use some of the gold uh, puffy stickers. So many goody, goodies in this kit. <laughs> but I'm going to add a few here and there. There's different sizes, so I wanted the larger one just next to that blue. Oh, what fun. 
and then we'll add a few more kind of spreading them out a little bit spreading out that gold glitter and I'll put one in the center there and then two on the very bottom and then that finishes off card number 10 so I hope you enjoyed this this month's kit I sure have fun I and I think my Christmas cards are pretty well set with all the the club kits this this year but um we're going to take a look at all 10 cards that I made. And if you guys want to see still shots, I, I photograph each individual card. Um, you can visit my blog. I'll leave the coordinating blog post um, down below for you guys. But there we have our die cut card. And then we have our flower card. And again, I use those small ones, small uh, sequins for the center of your flowers. It just creates a stunning visual effect on your cards. That's my little pocket card. Love the way that turned out. <laughs> and then we have our little poinsettia flower that we made bigger and dimensional. And then we have our present card we created with the, the journaling cards. We'll scoot these over a little bit. I'm trying to go in order and a little bit slower so you could guys you guys could see these. If you guys are new to the Spellbinders Club Kits and are interested in them, they are a great value. And I'll leave a link down below to the Spellbinder shop and to the um, Club Kit subscription. But um, lots of goodies in the kits. I mean, you get the die set, the stamp set, a, a full, full pattern paper set, um, lots of lots of embellishments, even adhesive and, and foam squares and cardstock so um i i think it's a great value and i hope this gives you some ideas on how to use the kit i love doing the spellbinders kits and i hope you enjoyed the video today have a great day we will see you again real soon Bye bye <music>